G'day guys, going to do a quick video to cover the next tournament, which will begin, to my surprise, tomorrow. I just found out about it from Jutska a few days ago, and I've also decided I am going to join. Good luck me. I think I'm going to fail with my rustiness and old man skills. So uh, it's going to be a 1v1, and it's going to be in group stages at the start. So uh, groups of four, and four players in each group and the top one player from each of those groups will go through. So four, four of them will go through into the single elimination stage, I believe, which is bracketed. Uh, so it's a 1v1. I haven't had a 1v1 tournament for a while. Uh, I like 1v1s for the reason that it gets really exciting. There's really intense moments in those games, like the 50-50 tank plays, where uh, there's a moment in the game where the player has a Sherman, you have a Panzer G, and losing one of the, those tanks will decide the entire game <laughs> so that moment when that battle's happening it's so intense to watch and that's why i like it uh, but yeah I, again strategy may not be as wide as a 2v2 and also games could be one-sided once it starts to snowball um, so yeah i'm looking forward to it um, i'm going to go through some of the players in here um, i'm not going to do a full-blown player profile like i usually do with an intro and all the match stats because it, I think it's just not worth it but to the, for the amount of views I get and uh, yeah it's just taking too long so I'll just go through the players you may find it fun uh, a lot of you probably watched a lot of these guys in the last uh, three four years however long I've been doing tournaments um, so you may know them they're all familiar names they're all in the competitive community all top players that uh, were invited to this tournament uh, by Jutska Excuse me. So Group A, we've got Konos. He's from Greece. He's a very reliable top player. Uh, consistently does well in all the tournaments. He's good at micro and macro. I don't really see him having much weaknesses uh, other than lack of practice. Now, for some reason, when tournaments come about, he's never really on form. But he's very consistent and can can beat most, most of the players uh, except the top top players, the top two or three he may struggle against. But otherwise he's consistent, consistently, because I think he can beat anyone. Uh, Rafi, uh, he's from Greece. He's relatively new to the competitive community. I think he plays on the in team in-houses more often than uh, actual tournaments. I don't think he's played in a tournament before. Um, so he's debuting in this 1v1. I'm not sure how good his 1v1 skills are. Um, so I, I don't think he'll place too well but we'll have to see if he's uh, improved a lot since I last played because I'm a bit out of it as well knowing the player skills. Uh, Tedessa, he's definitely the one to beat in the entire tournament out of all the players. He's, uh, yeah, I guess uh, out of all the players, uh, community players, you, you could probably get consensus that Tedessa is the one to beat. Uh, he won the last World at War tournament where he beat Pringles, who was undefeated for, for pretty much more than a year in the game in 1v1 in tournaments. He beat Pringles in uh, the earlier stages um, and beat Hansi in the grand final. Now, uh, Tedessa was seeded 9 back then when he kind of first joined the competitive community uh, from when we, 5TA came in and, and uh, played in the 2v2 tournaments. He debuted in his uh, first 1v1 tournament and uh, did extremely well. And ever since then, he's been the guy to beat. So... Uh, I think Konos and Tedessa uh, will be the game to watch in this one. Uh, then Roma from Ukraine, he played in the last 2v2 World at War tournament. He came second, I think, with Nat Nat in that tournament. So he, there's no doubt he has some 2v2 skills up his belt, but I'm not too sure 1v1 he hasn't actually played in any uh, so far. And I don't think he plays that much 1v1 uh, anyway in, in his uh, casual gaming. So I uh, don't see... Rafi and Roma progressing, but Tedessa, I think, is the one to progress. Konos may have a slight chance. Uh, down to Group B, we've got lots of English folk. We've got Nat Nat. <laughs> um, I don't have too much to say about Nat Nat's skill. He's, he's pretty much up there, um, one of the top players. Not in the top three, I think, but consistently does pretty well and is a tough competitor. You won't see Nat Nat quitting a game in the middle of it. Uh, you'll see him fighting edge tooth and, tooth and nail. Uh, perhaps not only with his with with his uh, mouse skills, but with his uh, keyboard and uh, maybe his team speak voice. Um, I suspect some sort of controversy will come out of this uh, match or his matches if uh, anything happens with uh, pulling internet plugs or things like that. I'm glad I am not an admin of this uh, tournament, 
So good luck to people who play NatNat in both ways, you can say. <laughs> uh, good Godwin, he's a pretty old guy. Uh, sorry, NatNat's a student, by the way. I think uh, everyone's a student so far, but Godwin is not. Godwin's quite old, like myself. He's a painter, I think, or renovator or something like that. Uh, from England, he's uh, good at macro. He knows his stuff because he's been in the computing community like three or four, four or four years, and maybe even played Mao One, I think, with us five, six years ago. I can't remember. Uh, he's been here forever. He hasn't played in tournaments for a long time, uh, but has recently took up AS2 again, uh, playing the Valkyrie mod, and plays a lot of in houses with them and does quite well. Not 1v1, um, kind of relies a bit more on the macro, especially in the opening where you throw grenades and stuff. And I think this is where Godwin will struggle. Um, so I don't really see him doing too well. Perhaps he might have a decent game for that and that, but I think Mr. Pringles, um, next one there, Mr. Pringles, is the one to beat in this uh, particular group. He's from Finland. He's a physics student, I think. Uh, and he was the reigning champion of 1v1s for almost two years, I think, <laughs> in the 1v1 tournaments. Uh, specifically, didn't do too well in the 2v2 tournaments, I guess he hasn't found a good partner, but in the 1v1s, he was unbeatable for a while, playing Hansi in the finals of the previous, the, the th two tournaments ago, and before that, I think he played Hansi as well. I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but he won every single tournament and was unbeatable. Um, he's so consistent and doesn't make mistakes. Um, the problem with this tournament is he's kind of put Menifor on the shelf and I think uh, between Tedessa and Mr. Pringles, that's the only difference separating them is Mr. Pringles has put it on the shelf. Because um, if you saw Tedessa and Pringles game in the last 1v1 tournament, you should watch it, by the way, if you haven't. It's a, it was the best games I've ever seen. Um, they were pretty even, very evenly matched. Anyone could have kind of won that that, that series. Um, so, yeah, I guess even though he's out of practice, uh, I think he can get back into form really quickly because it's, it's just uh, phenomenal. Uh, Flapperjack, um, he played in the World of War tournament, but didn't do, do too well. The last 1v1 tournament didn't do too well. He was new to the community community. That was about almost a year ago. And, uh, is, yeah, still, I, I don't know how, how much his uh, experience is racked up recently and if he's gotten a lot better, but, uh, it's usually not the case. Usually they, um, they, you, you know, you know if a player is a super player like Pringles or Dedessa straight up. So I suspect, um, yeah, Godwin and Flapperjack uh, will struggle there. Nat Nat may get a lucky game of Pringles, uh, or Pringles might even crash and burn and not be as good as he was, but we'll see how that goes. I think Pringles will get through there. Uh, group C, got the main mod maker himself, Jutska, and also Shotter in here, so two real, two of the modders, really. Uh, so Jutska, uh, yeah, he's, he's the trickster, he's the MLG, you'll see a lot of uh, bazooka killing infantry plays, or even fire shotting through la on lamps and all that. Uh, he's fast. He's really fast. He knows all the tricks. He probably knows all the stats of the units. And he probably put some little hack in the mod somewhere where some unit has some feature that nobody knows. Uh, who knows? I wouldn't would have bought him. <laughs> but yeah, he's the king of troll and he should uh, do pretty good. So he's got, uh, he, he, he won the last 2v2 World at War tournament with Shotter, which is, uh, the other guy you'll know. Uh, the, in the, in the 1v1 tournaments, uh, last 1v1 tournament, I don't think he did too well. The previous one though, the previous one though, he went to, um, he, what did he do? The pre, sorry. <clears throat> the pre, previous 1v1 tournament to that, I think he came third, beating Konos, uh, for third place. And then, uh, you got, yeah, then you got shot up. He won the last 2v2 tournament with Jutska, so now they're enemies in this 1v1 tournament. Uh, thing is with the shot up, yeah, he's, he's really good player. Bit risky though, and in one v ones, if you have a bit of risk, sometimes if you yeah lose too many units, you, you'll uh, snowball down quite quickly. So uh, he, they've got a he's got the skill to beat anyone, but I think uh, just not as consistent. So probably just kind of might come out of this one, I think, uh, as the favourite. Uh, Liam uh, last one v one tournament, he was new. Uh, he participated, um, but yeah, I'm not sure if he's gotten to the top tier level yet, but uh, he's, he's pretty damn good. We'll give them a run for their money. Uh, he's a student as well. All these guys are students, university students, I believe all of them. Um, Skutchell, uh, he's pretty new to the competitive community. Actually, uh, he's very new. I don't even know him other than from replays I watch. But when I actually played AS2, he wasn't playing uh, with us. 
Uh, so Group D, my group, um, me, I am slow. I haven't played since October, so I am hoping to win one game. I think I may have a chance versus some of the players, except Hansi. <laughs> so going up to Hansi, Hansi came second in the last 1v1 tournament, second in the one before that, second in the one before that, and one before that, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, last TVD tournament, he came third with me because, um, yeah, I had to go overseas. We, so we, we, we don't know how we, we, we would have went, but, uh, yeah, we came third due to forfeit. Um, yeah, so Hansi is always consistently second, mostly in 1v1 tournaments. Pretty much the last six or something tournaments. <laughs> he's never number one, but always uh, second in place. So he may do well. I think he's top, going to be top of the group because he's still playing, um, out of, uh, me and him. Uh, Miss Apples. Uh, has been playing in the um, Anzac in-houses when we used to play like a year ago, uh, but we stopped playing those in-houses. But uh, he's continued to play with Hansi and a few others um, in the competitive community, as if nightly for in-houses. So he's on form. Hansi and Miss Apples will be more on form. So I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, to the match versus Miss Apples. I know uh, he doesn't have much experience in tournaments, but I think he'll uh, still beat me due to his skill level and uh, being on form. Uh, Greek 393, uh, competitive experience. He played in the 1v1 tournament probably three, four years ago. I think he came second in the tournament versus me, actually. Uh, yeah, so he's, he's, he, since then, he's never really played much. Um, and only played a few team games in, in houses. Uh, recently, uh, hasn't played at all. So, same as me. Um, and probably doesn't know the mod either. So all, all the players actually in group D don't know the mod too well. Um, but I suspect Hansi would come out of the line. So anyway, that's my thoughts, guys. Uh, you probably know more about me. Correct me if I'm wrong on um, predictions because uh, I don't play much compared to... I'm talking to competitive players right now. I think I play much compared to you these days. Uh, let me know if I'm wrong with the, the, any of the predictions and what you think. So hoping for good games. Um, from my knowledge, I think the group stages will finish in two weeks, and after that, uh, be single limb. I'll try cast most of them. Anyone who is watching that is playing in a tournament, please send me your replays or save them so I can check them out and cast them. So should be fun. Um, I'll see you around, guys. Can't wait to play in it.